The city of Savannah is uh, looking at to uh, conduct a sound study for a neighborhood off Truman Parkway. This after several residents have filed noise complaints. WSAV Sarah Smith is joining us live now. Uh, Sarah, give us a sense of uh, what people who live there hear every day. Well, Tina, I'm standing at the end of the Edgemere Sackville neighborhood that meets right up with Truman Parkway. I don't even need to hold my microphone out for you to hear this constant sound that neighbors say they hear from the comfort of their own homes. How would you like to have constant noise 24 7 to where you can't escape it? Sean Mannion lives in the Edgemere Sackville neighborhood. You can see the Truman Parkway from his backyard and you can hear the constant whoosh of cars all day long. If you've had a really long day and all you want to do is sleep, you can't because you hear. He has lived in the neighborhood for close to 15 years, but about five years ago, he noticed this sound, which he says has only gotten worse over the years, impacting his and his neighbors quality of life. For reference to how loud the flow of traffic is, OSHA's permissible exposure limit is an eight hour noise level of 90 adjusted decibels. In Mannion's sunroom, a decibel app on his phone hit up to 70 dBA. So the average is at 76. We're inside. The max hitting 93.5 dBA. Anybody going to the south side, hey, they'll jump on the Truman and go. It's a great access point, but from a sound perspective, it's it's almost unlivable. The city of Savannah provided WSAV with a statement that a sound study will be conducted and that they are, quote, committed to working with residents on quality of life issues. Mayor Van Johnson weighed in earlier this week, speaking about how the Truman Parkway creates a convenience for drivers, but has a, quote, demonstrable sound. I hope the residents recognize that we do hear them um, and we continue to hear them, um, but we want a scientific solution and not a political solution. Now, the city has not given a timeline for when that sound study should be completed. For now, the residents here just say they want to be communicated with. Reporting live in Savannah, Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side. Thank you, Sarah.